So the next thing that we want to look at is what's called orthogonal decomposition. And we've sort of referred to this already. But let's sort of formalize it. Okay. And so the idea here is given any vectors, say, u and v, like I have here, or v and w, whatever you want to call them, um, let's, let's do it in terms of the projection as I've done it here, even though it's going to be different in the example. So we're projecting v onto u, and we have these <coughs> vectors, the parallel and the perpendicular parts. And the idea is that you can take your vector v, and you can write it as the projection of v onto u plus v minus the projection of v onto u. And that maybe seems a little bit silly at first. You're just adding and subtracting the projection, and you're like, what, what does that even get me? Well, the point is that this is, this is the parallel vector, right? This is parallel to v. And this part here is orthogonal. It's the perpendicular part, if you like. Right? Um, and so it's often quite useful to be able to take a vector and split it into those two pieces. Uh, a lot of physics problems, like uh, component analysis of forces, depends on these sorts of decompositions. Right? So let's try it now in practice. Um, we'll start with the first one. Okay. These are the same vectors as the previous problem. Um, I'm going to redo the calculation because I've, I've erased it. Um, so first we're going to do the projection. It's not v onto u, it's u onto v. Right? So it's v dot u over u. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, v, c. You have to be careful. It's v dot u projecting onto v. So the result should be parallel to v. So v dot u over v dot v times v. OK. So that dot product is minus 6 plus 1. We worked that. That's minus 5. Uh, the magnitude of v squared was 9 plus 1, right? 3 squared plus 1 is 10 times v. 3, 1. So we get minus 1 half times the vector 3, 1. OK. All right, now this is, all right, so this is the kind of the part that is parallel to V. And now to get the part that is perpendicular to V, we take U and we subtract off the part that's parallel to V. So we take the vector U, which is minus 2, 1, and we subtract off minus 1 half, be careful of the double negative, times 3, 1. Okay, so simplifying, uh, minus 2 plus 3 halves gives me minus 1 half, and then 1 plus a half gives me 3 halves. So we could write that as, if we like, we could write that as 1 half times the vector minus 1, 3. And writing it like that, it's pretty easy to see that this is indeed orthogonal to v. All right, the dot product will be 0. Very good. Let's try the second one. So this time, we are decomposing w with respect to x. So we're projecting w onto x. So that is w dot x over x dot x times x. So we worked out that that dot product was 6, 2 plus 1 plus 3. w dot with itself was 3. So 6 over 3 is 2. So we simply get the vector 2, 2, 2, right? Twice x. OK, and so this is the part that is parallel to x, and to get the part which is perpendicular to x, 
we're going to do w minus the parallel part. And so that is going to be 2, 1, 3, subtract 2, 2, 2. And the result is going to be 0, minus 1, 1. And indeed, if we take that vector and we dot it with x, we do get 0. Um, so those vectors are orthogonal as promised.